What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a really quick video and I'm just going to show you guys how you install your motion graphics templates that you may have downloaded from like your favorite YouTuber or from like a stock footage website. I'm going to show you how to do that just now. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go on a creation website, which is ccreation.store. And I've already got it opened up here. So we're going to go to plugins. You can see the products that they have to offer. So once you've bought this, you're going to be given the option, whether to download from the website or to your email. And once you've downloaded it, it will come through as a zip file, which are these folders here. And obviously you have to unzip them. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new project since I've already made it. Here it is. And it's just a couple of shots of some people skateboarding. And that's the shot that I'm going to be using to create my sequence. Now, to get right into it, at the top here, you're going to be given a couple of tabs. You want to go down to the graphics tab, click it, and this will take you to the essential graphics panel, which is this side here on the right hand side. And these are essentially all your graphics that you have in Premiere Pro that you can use. Now, how can you actually import these graphics into Premiere Pro? So a really useful thing that Creation have done is they've included a PDF that shows you exactly how to import the graphics into Premiere Pro. So we're going to do it their way and then I'm going to show you another way which I think is a little bit quicker. Right here on the right hand side of the essential graphics panel at the bottom there's a little window with a plus icon that says install motion graphics. We're going to click on that. And now we find the type of graphics that we want. For example, here creation have gone bold titles and depending on what aspect ratio you want, you'll choose the files accordingly. Now they are MOGRT files or morgued files, however you say it. And all you want to do is just click on one of them and open. Now the only problem with this method of doing it is that it would only allow you to do it one at a time. So for example, if we have loads and you don't want to keep going back and forth, uploading them one at a time. The way I do it is a much quicker way. So we just go into our finder, find the titles that we want. So I'm just going to select all of them and I'm just going to drag them, drop them to our essential graphics panel. And here in a search bar, if we find CC and press enter, here appears all of our graphics that I've imported from the creation team. Right, now that you know how to import these files onto your Premiere Pro project, let's start using them and see what these are capable of. So let's pick any of our titles, let's say for example this one, and we'll drag and drop just over our sequence, over our timeline, and here we have the graphics pack. And now I'll show you how to edit them. So if you want to click onto the actual tab on the actual layer, here in the global controls, we can set our animation in seconds to see how long we want the animation to go on for on the screen. And here we've got it to 10 seconds. Now we can also adjust the position of the animation. For example, here the X axis, we can move it to the left and to the right. And we can also move it up or down and up. And here again, the scale as well makes it bigger or smaller. Now you can see that if I push it too much to the left, it disappears. That's just a safe margin so you can get the best quality out of the animation. If you want it to be a bit bigger than what the controls allows you to, then you can go here on the left hand side to the scale option and just scale it up. Now here we can also click animation in and animation out. And what these do is just set an animation for where it comes in and for when it comes out. So if we click play, no animation happens whatsoever. But once we click these sliders here or these little check boxes and we go back to the beginning, the animations are there, which is great. Next, we have our text controls and the text controls, as it implies, controls the text within your titles. So, for example, we have clean. We're going to change that to creation. And here you can see that it appears here at the top. And we're just going to change some of these graphics as well. And here we've got creation graphics tutorial. Another great thing about this section here is that you can completely change the font that you want it to. For example, let's perhaps have a Beber's new bold. And it changes the font of it as well, which I think is really useful. And also like the other sliders, you can make these bigger 
or smaller depending on how you want it. And now the last control panel is the colors. Now the colors here is also another great function and you can stylize it to however you want. And as the name suggests, the colors change the colors of your text. Let's pick a nice little red, click OK. And now our colors have become red. Next, I'm going to add a couple more titles from our essential graphics pack and I'll show you the next step momentarily. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is how to import transitions and effects onto Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our downloads and here we've got a couple of glitch transitions and some other types of transitions. Now, you notice here that you don't have the same type of files as you would with the graphics. Now, what the creation team has done is they've built in sequences for you. And what you can do with this is quite similarly to how we did it the first time. I'm going to show you how they recommend it. And I'm going to show you how I think it's a little bit quicker to do. So we'll go to file, import. And here you can just import the sequence into your project tab here on the left hand side. Now another way to do it is just drag and drop the sequence onto your project tab here on the left hand side. Drag and drop. Now you're going to get given the option to import entire project or import selected sequences. Both are fine so you're okay to just press OK. And here you have the different transitions that you can use. Now the only problem with these transitions is that they're nested so you can't just drag and drop them to your timeline or else they won't work that way. So instead, what we want to do is you want to double click on your transition. For example, this one here, transition bottom left, double click, and they will appear here on your timeline or your sequence tab. And these two little segments, they are your transitions. And all we want to do is you want to select them, copy them by hitting command C, going back into our main page and hitting command V we're going to paste them onto our timeline. I'm just going to drag them and drop them between two clips. It's important that they become over two clips or else the transition won't work properly. And here, voila, there's your transition. The reason why you have to put them between two clips is that if you don't, you just get maybe a cool effect such as this one. So once you've made your timeline the way you want it, you cut everything down to size, you've chosen the graphics that you want to use, the transitions, all that's left or one of the things that's left is for you to render the image out so that it can play smoothly. And once that's all rendered, maybe you want to add some music to it, which is what I'm doing here now, just to make it a little bit more cool. So we're going to trim this down to size, cut it. And here you have it, your fully completed sequence using the creation teams graphics, transitions, and time bars. We'll play it back for you so you can have a look. Now all that's left is file, save, and then you want to file, export, media, call it something that you like. For example, we're going to call this creation graphics tutorial, save, export. So to quickly summarize everything that I've spoken about in this video, so you've downloaded your motion graphics from the creation store. Fantastic. You've unzipped them and you've looked at the PDF that shows you how to install them. Fantastic. Next, you've created your timeline and you've imported your effects and graphics into the graphics panel or into the project folder. So you've taken the titles or the graphics from the graphics control panel in Premiere Pro. You've thrown it over your timeline and onto your footage and you've changed everything that you wanted to. Now all that's left for you to do is save and export that project and there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial that I've put together for you guys, along with the help from the guys over at Creation. Make sure to check them out on Instagram for more updates for their products. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this. 
I'll see you guys next week. Take care.